<laughs> so I'm kind of in disbelief at like how dirty this beach is. I've never been on a beach and seen this much garbage before. And even as I'm like walking, I don't even want to get into deep because like every wave brings in some trash. It's so crazy. Gotta keep the environment clean, people. Gotta keep it clean. because I have always been just going to the beach and just getting a lounge chair or something, but, or just walking around. But I think today I feel like just lounging with food and what better place to do that than a beach club. So I'm looking into some places. I don't quite know where I'm gonna go just yet. 
that's one thing about being here in Bali. I really just don't, there's nothing planned with my day to day, at least not with these first two weeks. I just kind of get up when I get up and decide from there what the day is going to be. Um, and yeah, my sleep schedule has been jacked up since I've gotten to Asia, to be honest. I've been trying to get back on track. I normally wake up around like six or seven in the morning. Now your girl wakes up on average around noon. <laughs> I don't know what is going on. Well, no, I do know what's going on. My sleep schedule is just off. Um, some nights I'll wake up at like 4 a.m., but I've gone to bed at, at midnight. So I've only had like four hours of sleep and I'll be up, my brain will be up. My body won't be awake, but my brain will be awake. And I'll be up for maybe like two or three more hours and then I crash and then I don't wake up until noon or until one. So yeah, it's not the best. I'm trying to get back in the groove, but I'm also, my time in Asia, like I might have like two more months more or less here. So it's like, oh, by the time I finally get my schedule adjusted, I'm going to be back on the other side of the world and have to do this all over again. So this is just one of the things of being a nomad. <laughs> what a sleep. <laughs> what a sleep. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to finish getting ready. I need to put on sunscreen. Uh, oof, yes, don't forget sunscreen. And I will check in with you guys when I head out of here. I'm excited to be here. Twenty-two <laughs> lounge chair seating, and then they said this is the second pool they have for the people who don't like the foam bubble. This is so nice. And there's no minimum spend to stay here. You just come, enjoy, buy food, buy drinks. So they have this food and drink menu. And they also brought me a cold towel. How cute. I like it here. <laughs> So, so far so good. I just ordered my food. The staff here is so nice. They got me signed up with a membership immediately because they get a discount apparently. Um, so, to quench the thirst, I got this dehydration remedy is what they call it. It's a watermelon, pineapple, coconut, water, and lime juice. And I've got some pasta coming on the way. I'm sticking to just vegetarian meals while I'm here. I've been scarred off that food poisoning. So I got some mushroom truffle pasta and yeah, hopefully it's good. Truffle pasta. The Sakwa House pasta is amazing. Oh my gosh. It is so good. It is not obvious. I'm clearly in my happy place. <laughs> mm -hmm. wow. Spectacular. The bathrooms are so nice. <laughs> Smells good. Yeah, it's so good here. It's so bad. <laughs>
can eat it. Sweet and sour cauliflower, which looks really good. And spring rolls. Seem to have eggplant in the middle. I've already been eating them. Eggplant vegetables. Okay, the vegan spot was good, but I ended up going to this place because they were out of chocolate cake, which I really wanted. So I found a place that had a brownie, a brownie and ice cream. I found a new gym and decided to get a weekend membership here. So this is where I can consistently come and work out every day this week and then hopefully be able to get my routine on track. This is the salad that I got. Like I said, at the salad bar, you just kind of pick your toppings. They give you a choice of like, you get like four different let lettuce bases, you get a grain base, you get a protein. This is uh, a tempeh ball, which I've never had before, but it was a vegan vegetarian option, so I got it. Um, and then you get to pick different types of veggies to put on top. So that's all there and it is huge i don't even know if i'll be able to finish this salad tonight and then because i couldn't resist i got what they call a vegan matcha cheesecake to try out um so yeah i'm starving about to dig in so all in all i think i paid somewhere around like 20 ish dollars for everything that i got today which i thought was really really good it was a great place to just like hone in and get some work done but I ordered like two meals, this salad, this salad and the uh, nasi goreng, I think is how you say it, that I had for lunch. And then I had a coffee and I had a smoothie bowl with added protein. So I've been eating all day and I feel like for $20, that was actually excellent. Satisfied. I'm a very happy camper. Good morning, people. Buenos dias. It is Tuesday and I am up earlier than normal for the first time since I got here to Bali. It's about eight in the morning and I'm headed to get breakfast. Um, and then after I'm gonna go help to prepare meals for people in need here in Bali. Um, just wanted to give back to a good cause and I saw that the Black and Bali group was hosting this this week. So I'm gonna go check that out. And then the rest of the day will be a typical day uh, doing some work and then heading to the gym, all that jazz. But Let's get this day started.
and the grand total is 651 mil to give to those in need. So we're going to have to do <laughs> My Pisces sister. Thank <laughs> you. 